Welcome once again. Right now we're at 1 Timothy chapter 2. Paul continues, I exhort, therefore, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and givings of thanks be made for all men. Now that reminds me, there is a second century author by the name of Hegesippus, and he wrote about James the Just, the brother of Jesus, who led the church in Jerusalem. And it says that he was in prayer so much, he was on his knees so much that his knees were calloused. It says like the skin of camels. And Hegesippus said very specifically that James would pray very, very fervently for all men. Can you imagine being on your knees, praying that God forgives people so much that your knees become so calloused. It's like the skin of a camel. Paul continues, verse 2, For kings and for all who are in high places, that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and reverence. Yes, let's pray for political leaders, that they may lead people in all godliness and reverence. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and come to full knowledge of the truth. Not to censor the truth, but to come to the full knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, the testimony in its own times, to which I was appointed a preacher and an apostle. Don't forget the word apostle here. It's just a fancy word meaning someone sent. If you're sent by someone, you become apostle of that person. So Paul is saying that he is an apostle, basically saying that he is sent of the Lord. I am telling the truth in Christ, Paul says, not lying, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth, I desire, therefore, that the men in every place pray, lifting up holy hands without anger and doubting, in the same way that women also adorn themselves in decent clothing, with modesty and propriety, not just with braided hair, gold, pearls, or expensive clothing, but with good works which is appropriate for women professing godliness. Let a woman learn in quietness with full submission. Verse 12, But I don't permit a woman to teach nor exercise authority over a man, but to be in quietness. For Adam was formed first, then Eve. So they weren't formed together. They weren't created together. And that was for a purpose. For Adam was formed first, then Eve. Adam wasn't deceived, but the woman being deceived has fallen into disobedience. But she will be saved through her childbearing if they continue in faith, love, and sanctification with sobriety. And tonight, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.